It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Emily's and it's a bottle of their espresso stout coming in at 9.5% ABV. There's a look at the bottle. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Wow. Give it quite a rigorous pull towards the end there to develop that one finger tan coloured head. But now it has developed, it's very nice, it's a very nice looking beer. Good levels of carbonation, jet black beer in a glass, one finger tan coloured head. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good for a stout. Let's get the aroma. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, definitely espresso, there's some raisin. Roasted malt coming through, of course, that, that kind of touch of wort in there. Bitter, bitter chocolate, sweet caramel. It smells good, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. The espresso comes through nicely. There's some nice caramel flavours coming through behind the espresso. So immediately after that, fresh coffee espresso flavour. You're getting a mixture of a little bit of sweet caramel. Then it moves over to a bit of bitter chocolate and, and some, some of the roasted malts coming through. Nicely carbonated and a good bitter back end. But why am I not screaming with excitement for this beer? It's very good. It's very tasty. But I just feel it's missing some, some depth. It's just missing some mouthfeel. For me, for a 9.5% ABV espresso stout, I want it to be denser, creamier on the mouthfeel, thicker if you like, to use plain English, thicker, a thicker beer. It's, it's just not quite there. It's very drinkable. It's, it's very Imperial Stout-like, of course. Uh, it, it, it's that style of beer. Um, I like the espresso coffee. But the mouthfeel lets it down just a touch. A little bit of vinous on the back end. There's a little bit of raisin, a little bit of plum, a little bit of fig. But I've had some really, really good beers from Emily lately. Um, I've, they sent me the range, and I, I enjoy. I've, I've enjoyed them, and I thought I was saving the best to last. I, I just read the label on this, and I thought, if their other beers are as uh, uh, fantastic beers, which I've enjoyed, this is going to be tremendous. Oh, but it's probably out of the beers they've sent me. They've sent me about six or seven beers. This is probably the weakest, and and it's a shame. It's a real shame. Because I thought it was going to be top, top quality. It's a lovely tasting beer. As I'm, I'll mention it one more time. Espresso coffee, chocolate coffee, caramel. There's some vinous flavours in there. There's a touch of vanilla. It's all there. It's all very much there. But maybe throw some oats in there. Just to... Or some lactose. Just to give it a little bit more body. And it would be a smashing, smashing beer. But as it is right now... It's just not quite there. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! 
and cheers.